Dr. Claude Anderson warned us about this. Oh my goodness. So what has happened in this country is that we have imported a hostile immigrant class. And over time, they've gotten a little, we'll say, arrogant, okay, a little uppity, because they believe that they're so ingrained into the fabric of this country that it's, it's damn near impossible to remove them and deport them. Now, I would disagree. I think de deportation is always possible. It will be a painstaking process, but that is always possible. Now, I don't believe neither Biden or Trump will do that, but that is always, you know, it, it is always possible. Whether it's feasible, it's a different story. But nevertheless, what has happened is I don't have an issue with said immigrant class being imported. The issue that many black Americans that we're facing is not necessarily the immigrant class, it's the fact that we're competing with them. Now, if we were in a different position uh, upon their importation, such as we were the ones that owned the businesses and got to benefit from the cheap labor, that would be fine. But unfortunately, as Dr. Claude Anderson warned us about, we are now in the position where we're competing with them. And given the, the hostility that this country has for black Americans, um, that's not really the position that we wanna be in. It's competing with a group of people who are gonna undercut you for wages. Now, I say that to, to transition into the story where we have a woman named Kate Sanchez. That is correct. Kate Sanchez, representative in California, who is talking ill about reparations. Now, she was apparently the only person who spoke up against this, but what has recently happened is that it has been $800 uh, a billion dollars that has been approved for reparations. What they are now in the next process of is finding out who qualifies and how it's gonna be dispersed. This immigrant, and that's exactly what she is, I believe she's a first, second class, whatever immigrant in this country, she is now, just as many of her you know, predecessors and people akin to her, just as the woman in, in, in California was talking about, F that guy, he's with the blacks. You have many of these hostile uh, group of immigrants who are coming here and putting themselves into positions of authority within the government. That is what's happening and that is, that is a no-no, okay? That's a no-no for everyone. So you have this immigrant who's coming here talking about, hey, this is, you know, 800 billion for, for, for uh, you know, the descendants of chattel slavery. This isn't right. You know, California was never a slave state. You know, the majority of the country, I find this very interesting. She makes a point to say the majority of the country right now, over 55%, uh, is, is Latino and Asian. I recognize and acknowledge the painful part of our history. The pains of our past should not be paid by the people of today. The majority of our state is Latino and Asian, making up 55% of our population. Most of them, like me, are second, first, second, or third generation immigrants who had nothing to do with slavery. Discrimination, Jim Crow laws. Nothing. It is fundamentally unfair to force these people to pay for this, and because of that, I will be opposing today. All a bunch of uh, uh, white Republican talking points. That's what she's, you know, using in this in this segment of hers so I, I want to talk about this because first and foremost everything that she had to say is nothing more than lying via omission when it comes to california california engaged in all the slave laws whether it's the fugitive slave lack when it whether it's importing slaves over here right whether it's segregation whether it's jim crow they engaged in that so it being classified as a slave state is irrelevant that, and that's a hustle that they, many, many of them try to say, is that, well, the North didn't have slaves. The North, the North engaged in the products that the South uh, uh, created. And they knew damn well that those products were created by slave labor. So this whole uh, semantics, uh, you know, a ploy that they try to engage with, it's, it's foolishness upon someone who knows the history of the country, who knows the history of, of black America, who knows the history of America, because that's what black American history is, whether or not they choose to admit that. So this is foolishness. This is nothing more than drivel, okay? This is tantamount to the same argument they want to say, well, America isn't the one that's, you know, harming the Palestinians, but you're the one that's supplying Israel with the money and the missiles. So. It's, um, once again, it's a form of gaslighting. What they, what they always love to do is, is play victim. They love to play victim. They'll, as far as engage with the Fugitive Slave Act, they'll engage with Jim Crow, they'll engage with segregation, they'll engage with slavery, but because on a technicality, well, we're not a slave state, they wanna get off the hook. 
Well, here's the thing. When it comes to everyone like Kate Sanchez, who I think should be yeeted out of office, um, but if which her numbers are what they are, if it's Latino and Asians, then we're in a problem. We're in the same problem that Dr. Claude Anderson said, which is, hey, if you're a minority and they're treating you like trash, imagine being a super minority in your country. Then you're really not going to get anything. So you have to take that into account. But when it comes to reparations and people who feel like her, um, what I would suggest him doing is Kate Sanchez, go back to Mexico. And I mean that with utter respect. I mean that with all due respect. If you don't like what the country and the debt that the country has, because it is a debt, okay? You're a citizen, I, I, I assume, right? You're a citizen, Okay, now upon you being a citizen of the United States of America, you take on the debt that the country has. That's how it works. I don't co-sign as far as any money going to Ukraine. I don't co-sign any money going to, to Israel or, or the missiles. That's what the country has decided to do with my taxes and send them over there. That's what they decided to do. The country also has a debt that they, you know, allegedly, you know, try to pay, pay down. That's what it has. If I don't like how the money is being used or I don't like the debt that the country has, I can leave the country. That's what you have that right, Kate Sanchez. You have that right and everyone else who, who disagrees as far as with the debt of reparations. All the Asians and all the Latinos, if you don't like reparations and you want to say, well, I didn't do anything. I understand you didn't do anything. Nobody's ever made that claim. I don't know anyone who's ever said, hey, you white person, you Asian person, you Latino person who's here, who's an immigrant, you're responsible. No, no one's saying that. But as being a, a citizen of this country that has this debt, it is what it is. Move, do whatever you need. This isn't your, this isn't your homeland anyway, right? You came here off of the backs of my ancestors and the foundation that we created for you to thrive because we haven't been allowed to thrive. You've been allowed to thrive due to their racist and hostility towards black Americans. So if you don't like it, which is something that benefits you, so you should be actually more than jovial about repairing a, a, a debt or giving a, or, or settling a debt that allowed you to be a success in this country. That's what you should be. You should be overexcited about this. The fact that you have allowed to go from your, your garbage, dirt, piece of trash land that you come from, okay, all the way here to the U.S., you should be more than excited to give back to the people, the descendants of these people who allowed for you to be where you are. Every single Asian immigrant should be excited to give back to the descendants of the people who allowed them to make it in this country and be where they are today. So I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear any of this. I don't want to hear any of this blatant overt racism from these proxy, you know, Klansmen. If you don't like it, leave the country. Nobody asked you to come here anyway. No one. No one said, please, Kate Sanchez. We need Kate Sanchez to come here to the United States. Please, somebody. No one's ever said that, ever. So Kate Sanchez, you can bomb a nose, adios muchacha, and go back to your homeland. All the Asians, okay, since you're all 55%, y'all can go back to your homeland, wherever that may be. I don't care, okay? I will be giving free flights out to any Asian person or any Latino that wants to go back to their homeland and stay there permanently. That you, since you are so opposed to reparations, okay? But for the rest of you who like where you are, and you don't want to go to your, your, bummy, uh, your bummy place, then you should be saying thank you. That's all we need is a thank you. The country hasn't given it to us. They've given us all types of lip service except thank you. That's great. Now that thank you is going to manifest in the form of reparations, whether you like it or not. Because there's two options. And I don't think you like the, the, the other option. So this option, going about the legal process, going about this, and repaying a debt that's owed, this is the best process for everyone involved. This is the best process for the country. And here's the thing, this is how, this is how detached from reality they are. This is how much of a hatred that they have in their heart that if black Americans thrive, America thrives. Do you not get that? Anyways, guys, that's the video. Um, there really isn't any take to have on this, right? You're either a racist or you're not. And it's simple. It's really, it's really that simple. 
all of your arguments that you think are arguments and rebuttals, they're not. And if you do just a shred of due diligence into looking into the answers that you, that many of these ignorants constantly want to talk about, well, why didn't you do that? There are answers to them, but you don't want to know the answers. You just want to speak, spew ignorance. That's it. They just want to spew ignorance blatantly without any rebuttal. Because they always have something. They always have something. You answer one question, they always have something. And the underlying principle of all these questions is that I just don't like you. That's what that is. And that's, that's I mean, that is a, a, a tenet of, of America. But I don't care. Pay me. That's what that has to do. All the money, all the, all the land, everything you've stolen from black Americans, now it's time to give it back. Now it's time. Okay, you don't like it, then leave. Go back, go back to Mexico, go back to China, go back to Korea. I don't care where you go. go but leave the country if you don't like what the country's doing. As simple as that. Uh, <laughs> if you happen to disagree, you know where to find me. Friday through Sunday, you can call in. We'll talk it out. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think about Saint Chairs and the rest of them. Um, and subscribe. And oh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. You can bomb a nose, adios muchacha, and go back to your homeland.